And when that day is done, she's still holding on to the place she had when she was making light of you. Making love to you now, she's making light of love untrue. She's still walking every night, pacing streets in the moonlight. Moonshine smile on the young one. Moonshine find me to fall upon. Make a path to find the lost one. Make a way and watch me run. 'Cause she beats drums with the butt of a knife, carving rhythm in the twilight. If you find her, tell her what she likes. While she stopped at the streetlight. Hello. And welcome to Cetra's Angel Hood. Come on. Street lit stop light, carry on with beat of a cut up drum. Gives you a tune to hum, making light of songs too soon to be sung. Has your ego experienced a death which created a heart that is love? Do you believe in miracles from up above? Hello, my friend, fellow, and welcome to this episode of Setra's Angel Hood. We're living in the age of Aquarius, and we're going to touch on why people are so darn serious. While your mind may be a little curious, please feel free to go a bit delirious as we follow this harmonizing course, tantalizing that inner force. You can be anything you want to be, and you can create anything you desire to imagine. Your mind is the key, opening the heart to see, allowing the unity of both thought and deed. Believe with thy imagination and break that limit of provocation. Today, I'd like to introduce you to myself, as I have been introducing myself to people recently, and that is. Tutank Set. That means the living essence of Set. And I would like to explain why I have chosen to don this name. Set is very chaotic, very uh, uh, not too nice of a character most of the time of what we think about regarding Set, or as many others know him as Seth in the Egyptian pantheon. However, I'd like to inform you that as we learn more about Set, that he started out very benevolent, very loving, trusting, helping, very good. And then, all of a sudden, he goes through something, and now he's off in the desert, he's all about death, and leave me alone, and argh, a lot of rage going on here. A lot of flux of emotions, needing his own isolation away from everybody, away from everything, so he could process what he'd been experiencing. Now, after he had gone this entire course of this negative character, now all of a sudden, instead of being Neb or Lord of the Underworld, which is a very big privilege, he decides to take Ra's position, and he fights off Apophis, the evil that would otherwise destroy the world. So, I've realized that for our day and age, myself, you included, all of us included, that's what we're going through. See, in the beginning we were loving and believing and a child and a, a youth, no matter how old we became. And we helped everybody we could, we believed everybody, and we were sincere and we put our all into what we could do to help each other. In the process, through one experience or another, we became aware of being manipulated. This caused anger. This caused us to go into the desert, say, screw it, I've got 
my own things I need to deal with and process and it hurt us. That manipulation was the trauma, the trauma waking us up from this reality that we thought we were living in, that somebody else fooled us to live into something else. And that, that trauma destroyed everything we were. That sets event. That's what he that's the portion of the story a lot of us don't know about. But that's what he went through. That's what we've went through. We went into the desert. We went into our own process. And all these years later, as as we've come through the reality of thinking through everything we've been through individually and including everyone else, we realize that the only thing we want to do is save those whom have fallen before they fall into the fire. We see somebody going through a tragic event and we want to save them before they are traumatized. And so we give our heart, we give our trust. We know they're going to make mistakes and hurt us, but we take the hits. We take the hits. We say, here's patience. Here's more patience. I'm out of patience, but somehow uh, I've got more patience. And then that winds up hurting us in the long run because we haven't set our boundaries. And so we keep getting hurt. We don't say, hey, that hurts, please don't do that. We just keep taking it, and we take it, and then all of a sudden we explode. And then we're the bad guy, and we're, we look like we've been manipulating the situation. And out of a heart of love, we have. Because without setting appropriate boundaries, then the other person gets used to a particular custom. And so they carry on that character, that way of acting. And, and... We just want to save everyone we can. And that's set taking Ra's position, not taking it, but being given that position to let Ra move forward in his eternity of the, of the stream of life. And so, to Donk Set, the living essence of Set, that's why I embody that name at this time to represent all of us and what we're going through. And on this note, it's really interesting because I pulled up something online, I saw something about Apophis, and so I had to read, uh, otherwise known as a pep, or a popis, a popis, is a serpent, or let me make a mention, I am reading from Hin Hinadology, wordpress.com, H-E-N-A-D-O-L-O-G-Y dot wordpress dot com, uh, one of their uh, sections, so this is not my material, but something I felt very prevalent to the subject at hand of what we're talking about. So it goes on, it says, a serpent god embodying the primal, primal forces of disorder, animal to life. Apophis is the eternal opponent of Ra and attacks the solar boat, not only during its nocturnal journey, but even during its journey by day. He is conceived as massive in size. His name is sometimes interpreted with reference to the Coptic uh, as meaning huge or indeterminate in size and possessing a deafening roar and paralyzing gaze. He goes on and says, Many different deities are said to assist Ra in fighting off Apophis, but preeminent among them is Seth. They mention it, Seth, I'm just going to read it as Seth. But uh, uh, is set in his principal beneficent function. The vigor and vitality of set disruptive on one level is nevertheless apparently uniquely suited to combat the entropic assault of Apophis. The role of set is in this drama underscores the distinction between the spheres in which the conflicts associated with Ra and those associated with Al-Sar, they mention Osiris, the Greek form, are situated. This is vividly illustrated in the depictions of the seventh hour of the night in the Am Duat book, the book of that which is in the Duat, or the netherworld. The hour is depicted as is the form in this book in three registers. In the middle register, the boat of Ra confronts Apophis, who is swallowed up, the water which the boat needs to proceed. At the head of the boat stand Iset, I pronounce it Iset, it has mentioned as Is-Is or Iset, or 
uh, or, or Isis as many pr people pronounce it, but I'm just going to read it the way I read it. Uh, it's just not the way it is in the book, but say, or online. It says, at the head of the boat stands all set and set, whose exercise of magic wards off Apophis and permits the boat to proceed despite the lack of water. The cooperation of Allset and Set here stands in stark contrast to the conflict between them in the Alsatian mythos. Meanwhile, Apophis is fettered by the goddess Sukhet, while others hack his body to pieces. In the upper register, Alsat is enthroned. Like Ra, in his boat, Alsat is encircled by the protective serpent Mahen, for the first time in the book in this hour, as if the beneficent counterpart of Apophis. Before Asar are a series of bound captives, his own enemies, depicted in human form, who are being decapitated by a demon with a cat's head, evoking spell 17 of the Book of the Dead in which Ra, or alternately Shu, in the form of a cat, uses a knife to decapitate a serpent identified with Apophis who is coiled around the sacred sycamore, or per se tree, in Helopolis. In the lower register, a peaceful procession of stars proceed toward the eastern horizon, either untouched by the conflict in the two parallel domains, or their statues secured by the overcoming of Apophis. The magic which is performed in this hour is said in the text to be performed likewise on earth, and who performs it is present in the bark of Ra, in heaven and in earth. Humans thus, while alive, can and do participate in the drama of overcoming Apophis, and we have evidence of such rites directed against Apophis, especially from a collective known as the Book of Overthrowing Apophis, in which names and forms of Apophis written on papyrus or wax figures of Apophis are destroyed. Now, this goes on, though I've got to stop and bring out how amazing this is, is because... When I came in, and it goes on talking about this in the article, but we're going to come back to that. Though, this is amazing because when I came in introducing myself into the Egyptian uh, stream of reality, the first one I gravitated towards was Alset. I pronounce her name personally, Iset. To me, per, on a completely personal note, I don't know what this is in academics, but Iset for me, denotes a cry of help. I am in dire need. Please assist me. E, I need help. E, help! Um, and, and all set is more like, I'm doing good. What's up, mom? What's up? Like, what's up, my wife? Let, let's go kick some ass. I'm calling out to you. I'm just ringing your chime. No dire need to come to me, like, super out of the way or anything. So... In that, I learned this particular invocation. And invocation is an aspect to change the molecules, the crystalline structure of the liquids that we are composed of into harmonizing elements to allow us to access natural, innate characteristics and abilities that we do not normally process or utilize though it is within all of us. So an invocation is harmonizing the elements of the body in league with the chakra systems, creating all that conduits that you're aware of so much of and increasing your own field of being. A higher vibration will not allow a lower vibration to harm it. Why doesn't it allow it? Because a lower vibration knows it cannot take it over. A bully does not take on a fight with someone with which they know they cannot win. They do not enter because they know how, they do not know what they're working against. A bully knows their opponent and they're picking on somebody. And so as we rise into our true all-sought indwelling intelligent selves, an invocation is helping us access these innate natural, natural qualities that we simply do not naturally utilize nor access. Moving back, it says, In the sixth hour of the Book of Gates, another new kingdom depiction of Ra's nocturnal journey. 
the heads of those Apophis has swallowed are depicted rising up out of his body in the upper register, paralleling a series of mummified corpses. In the lower register, which lie atop a serpent-shaped bed, while the foot of Ra passes through in the middle register, those who have been consumed by Apophis are thus able to regain their forms through the grace of Ra. The same sort of scene depicted in the seventh hour of the Amduat book is narrated in spells 39 and 108 of the Book of the Dead, otherwise uh, truly accurately named Pratim Haru, which means becoming of the day, which means awakened. That portion was not in the website. Uh, it says uh, in 39, spell 39, we note that all set is said to dismember Apophis, evoking the dismemberment by Seth of all set brother and consort Osaw. Well, that's interesting. You see, there's something we have done in our own ways, if you will, that was wrong in the past, if you will. But just because it was used as a negative, you can come back and use this as a positive. You can use this as a positive. You, you can use this as a positive. Because as coming in and invoking all set that I continually did, she led me to invoking others. But the invocation of set was never necessarily apparently going on. That's because I was too busy living the life of Set to need to invoke that because I was already active as him. Thus, that is the indwelling intelligence that I have. And so to have the Divine Mother and to have Set linked together doing good, fighting at the prow of the boat, if I'm saying that correctly, the head of the boat, casting magic, essentially. All set, casting the magic, and set jumping in, dismembering the being. Like, I'm a fan of knives, I'm not into guns at all. Interesting how it talks about him hacking up the body into so many pieces. And so, uses that against Apophis, Okay, now before we continue reading, I want to touch on you, my friend. And before moving forward, I'd like to talk about exactly the heart of love that you have on that connection to set as we're talking about. So you're living that life. And by linking up with the Divine Mother in whatever faith you have, she has various forms and it covers pretty much all faiths unless they've kicked her out of their belief system. <clears throat> and uh, in that regard, Set yourself joins up with the Divine Mother. The Divine Mother will cast the magic. You just have to continue living your life of love and taking correct direction. For instance, angels need to assist angels. 2023 is about liberty. It is about liberty beyond only living how somebody tells you to live and being able to find out how to truly live freely, being your own business person, linking up with the right people, whatever the circumstance, liberty at hand. But for liberty to truly stand firm, it needs a solid foundation. And that foundation is your heart of love and all that you've suffered. And everybody else's opinions who have been manipulating you in your heart of love, they take your gifts for granted, they treat you like crap even though you've done so much good, and then you feel like the horrible person doubting yourself okay this is the kind of person I'm talking we need us angels us divine beings us however you want to call it higher vibratory love beings we need to stop assisting those individuals 
who are going to take those gifts and not only make us feel like trash, but they're going to continue doing it to other people, thinking it's acceptable, thinking that they can get away with this type of behavior. And we don't have to fight. We don't have to argue. You don't have to make any big scene. All you got to do, just like the song, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, just make a little plan, stand, no need to be coy, Roy, just get yourself free. And that's the truth. Just get yourself free. When you identify the markers of abusive behavior, exit. It's that simple. Exit. And find somebody who you can help. And even if they can't return the love, like, not just love, even if they can't return the monetary value, they're going to return the love. And you know what that's like, and that, that equal love energy return back is big. That counts. That's family. That's thank you for helping me. I'm going to help you in however I can, money or not. So help angels. Help your fellow divine being. Help your fellow light worker. Divine light. Light opening our eyes and our minds to the reality. The liberty to create our own future and our own future is if we just stop aiding the bully just let them make it on their own and they're not going to advance help an angel help someone who has a heart of love who's suffered help that person and let the mother cast her magic you do your thing you are both light and dark. You got a lot of love, but you've been exposed to a lot of darkness. You've been so dark, you fought yourself back to the light. So you know that system. You know what it's like to go down and come up. And once you're able to come up this day, 2023, keep that vibration high. Don't let people take your joy. Don't let them take your love. Be the love that you are. Stop letting them create a pretend, false world of chaos and hate. Spread your joy, spread your love, and don't slouch when you do it. Dance, man, live it up, throw the hands up in the air. It's the day, it's the year, it's the season to be jolly every day. Be jolly every day. That's what I say, ring the bells, Wake them up. Two thong set this year. We are all here and present and we have our freedom. You could be happy. You could be sad. You could be any emotion you want to be. But I say be joyful. Because we're alive. And special enough. As in spell 108, Set hurls a spear of iron against Apophis, causing him to disgorge the water he has swallowed, which has brought the boat of Ra to a halt. Not in the middle of the night, as in the Amduat book, though just after midday. This victory is ever only a temporary one. It allows Ra to set in safety. Apophis can never be wholly eliminated insofar as the forces of entropy are an implicit part of the cosmos. Just as all sought is dismembered but reconstituted, expressing the salvation of the mortal being so the very goddess who reconstructs all sought, namely all set, dismembers Apophis, who nevertheless reconstitutes himself. Only one known text from the temple at Esna speaks of the origin of Apophis. In recounting the birth of Ra from Nath, the text states that Apophis comes into being either from the newborn Ra's umbilical cord or from his spittle, depending on the translation. It became a serpent of 120 cubits, thus one calls it Apophis. His heart created rebellion against Ra together with his associates who emerged from Ra's eye.
Other texts, however, adduced by Rittner make the identification with the umbilical cord more likely. The text goes on to recount how Tahuti comes into being from Ra's heart when it was bitter. Bitter is likely a pun on Tahuti's name. And is sent against the Papa's rebellion. This text features prominently in support of an extended argument Impe Kimboli makes concerning the origin of evil in Egyptian theology insofar as it establishes Apophis as arising relatively late in the cosmogony and in the direct conjunction with Ra. Rittner, by contrast, arrives at the opposite conclusion, namely that Apep is Nate's creation. Nate's, Apep is Nate's creation. Coterminous and consub substantial with Ra. The evil Apophis embodies therefore the evil Apophis embodies therefore can neither be simply identified with the pre-cosmic state nor with the actions of human alone. It seems rather from this text that in being born, operating in cosmic time and through his cosmogonic work, note the pun on Ra's eye in which humans emerge with his weeping, and Ra's work, Ra unavoidably generates as a corollary of his pass passivity in the conditions of his emergence, the entropic force against which he and the things in his cosmic order must forever vie, insofar as the very fact of being born in itself entails the struggle with the potential for non-existence. So that concludes that article there. When the day is done, she's still holding on to the place she had when she was Making light of you, making love to you Now she's making light of love untrue She's still walking every night Pacing streets in the moonlight Moonshine smile on the young one Moonshine find me to fall upon Make a path to find the lost one Make a way to our 